Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen, depending on where you are around the freaking world. And I really hope you're doing what you can to have a blessed day and staying strong throughout these tough freaking times. But of course, we are back again with another freaking video. And before we begin, let's give a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel so far as we continue to grow. Come on now. But of course, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, you hit that notification bell so you're notified each time I upload something freaking new. And at the same damn time please don't forget to smash the like button comment throughout and share the video at the end but with that being said ladies and gentlemen we have covered glitter and lasers once before and we're here again because this video has been requested via twitter i guess obviously the video that was the video that i reacted to yesterday the day before that video was based on a video that she made in 2019 okay when she talks about the whole weight loss journey xyz now obviously if you haven't seen that video already just go check it out and come back and you can be up to date with where we are now and where we are now is the fact that she has now made another updated version another another video updated to the one she made 2019 because this one is now from september 2020 which is going to show us how much she really lived by what she said the first time compared to what she's going to say now and if there's been a difference now from the comment section that i've seen in the previous video that i made a lot of people said that after she made that video about the whole weight situation all that kind of stuff a lot of people said that, well, she said all that stuff, but then she never actually went and lived the lifestyle. She never actually went and then actually lost some weight. Some people say that she did lose weight, but then she put it back on again. Now, I'm not too sure which one is happening here, but either way, 2020, she obviously made another video. So let's check it out with a clear mind and see what she's got to say for herself. So let's get it going. Hey there. Uh, today, hey. I'm going to talk about my health again. Again. I will be very real with you. I did not intend to make this video today. I did not intend okay. to be sitting here filming. I actually intended to be sitting on my couch, watching some deliciously crappy TV, um, and just kind of taking it easy. But Why not? I guess the internet had other plans for me. And here I am. Here I am talking about my body again. The reason I'm here and the no reason I'm talking to all of you is because over the past, like, I guess four or five days, a couple videos have come out talking about, well, more reacting to content I've made and whether or not it is appropriate or fair in the way I've discussed things. I felt like I if you to know kind of what video that she's talking about at that time, that what kind of reactions that were made at that time about whichever video that she's talking about around the September time, well, this is obviously September the 1st, so that means it would have been around August, late August time, you know what I mean? If you know what she's referencing to, Please let us know in the comment section so we can uh, go and check it out. And then obviously I can get a gift of where she's obviously going with this. You know what I mean? And then maybe I can revisit whatever comment that I give throughout this video. But let's get it going on. Back to these videos because it's very bizarre. Bizarre. A lot of people discuss your body and your choices and your life mm -hmm. uh, without actually factoring you as a person into it. Like, it's almost like I'm being talked about like a bouncy ball, like an anatomy. Okay, let's just stop right there. Okay, so yes, yeah, she's got a point, but the fact is, people need to realize this. Once you are on social media, okay, and you are starting to um, share your life with people, it doesn't really matter if you are human. To be honest with you, it doesn't really matter if you feel like people shouldn't be saying too much. It really doesn't matter because you've chosen to put yourself in a position where millions of people. I mean, she's got what two hundred and fifty nine k subscribers. Lola's how many followers she has? And she has an Instagram and elsewhere, but she has a man of those people watching her. She can't expect every single one of them to watch her and not have an opinion and not have a voice. And most importantly, she can't expect people who are obviously on YouTube who do do commentary videos, you know, like myself or reactions. Okay, she can't expect them to just go by and let her say what she's going to say without like them giving her some form of criticism now obviously on this channel here we give constructive criticism we give informative criticism sometimes if the criticism that we give some people are going to like it some people are not, are not going to like it now i don't know who she's referencing to and how they've gone about it because i'm very aware that sometimes some people when they do give their criticism they do kind of go in a little bit uh, more on the uh, bashing kind of side of things which is something that we don't do here but either way she can't really no one who's in social media even myself i could never really make start a video by saying hey guys you know you, you can't be making an opinion on myself like you know have you ever considered that i'm this person or this person listen maybe i could de depend on the situation but generally if people are coming at you for something that you've said or something or or, or, or content that you have provided and you haven't been able to fall through with it let's believe people are gonna have an opinion and they, they don't really why are they going to worry about what's happening behind closed doors? You've decided to come on camera and give them at this specific perception. And if you've given them this specific perception, people can only go on that perception. They can't go on a perception that, that you haven't spoke about. 
You know, we're not, here, we're, no, we're not here to try and think, oh, I wonder what's happening behind closed doors. Come on, let's keep it realistic. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, boy, I don't know, man. But let's continue. Inanimate object with no feelings, no emotions, no values, no morals, no ethics. Like nothing. Just like an inanimate object of which we talk about. Like I got a candle at Bath and Body Works and I like the way it smelled. Anna's losing weight and I don't like her. <laughs> it's just like, what? Hi. Hi. I'm a person. I have feelings. I have emotions. Like it's kind of like the way it smelled. Anna's losing weight and I don't like her. <laughs> it's just like, what? She's Anna, right? Her name's Anna, right? And she's talking about her. So this is about her losing weight, right? So I'm just, I've just seen this. The truth about body positivity. Glittering lasers break silence. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. May, I, may, I, may, I, may, I may check that out after, you know? I have feelings. I have emotions. Like, it's kind of cool. I do this thing sometimes. When people say stuff to me, I react to it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm a person. The energy's real. So it's kind of been very weird. And I've been thinking, like, uh, what do I say? How do I react to this? Like, I don't want to get in an internet fight. And I know that's what happens a lot on YouTube. And I'm, I'm, I'm a lover, not a fighter. So how do I address what's gone on and the way people have talked about me? And I will say it is about me and even in some ways around me. Wait, there she's a lover, but a fighter. Oh, hold on a minute. My, 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 my memory's coming in now. I'm sure I've seen a video that, that fr I've seen her freely, freely the banana girl. I've seen her make a video one time and she said that uh, Glitch and Lasers did actually try and strike her, but then the strike was undone because obviously she had no right to strike her. So I don't know about that. Then if you're doing those kind of things, I don't know how that's for in line with what you're saying here, but let's continue. Very, very few of the people who commented on my body or my choices or my way of presenting both of those things have actually ever had a conversation with me. So I want to shout out two people for having direct conversations with me, which is Obese to Beast, had very lovely DM exchange with him, and he's just been very kind to me on a person-to-person -person level. And the fitness marshal, I don't think he's made any videos about me, but he's just been very kind to me and said, hey, I see this is going on. It's kind of a tough thing to deal with. How are you? I feel like, now again, I don't know any of them that well, and I've never met either of them in person. Okay. Let's run with that for a second. So is she basically saying that, you know, if, if I was to message her and say, hey, let, let me know what's going on your side. Does that mean she's actually going to reply to me? Because a lot of people say that and then they don't actually reply to you. Because that's, that's quite interesting. That is quite interesting. But okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm with it. But I can say pretty much on, on, on my experiences alone, they seem like good people. Because if I saw somebody else that I knew going through this, and I actually have seen friends go through different but similar situations, my first inclination would be, let me talk to that person directly and either talk to them about how I'm feeling or see if they're okay. Um, and I think that's, that's, I, I wanted, that's the only direct people I want to name in this entire scenario, because those are the people who made the choice to treat me like a human. And I value that so much. And I think that that deserves to be celebrated in internet culture because we don't do it enough. Uh, I mean, this, I, know, I know I'm pausing this a lot, but the thing is, I really dislike when YouTubers talk about, I really want to be treated like a human, you know, like I, I am, I am, I am like everybody else. Listen, everybody knows you're human, but the fact is though, just because people criticize you doesn't mean that you're not human, you know, just because, listen, listen, listen. There's people that are not on air, that, that, are don't, that don't present themselves on screen, okay? They have their lives, you know, that they do on a day-to-day -day basis, right? And just because their faces are not on screen, it doesn't mean they're not getting criticized by other people around them, you know? It doesn't mean, if, it doesn't mean that friends, family members, or random people don't come up to them and give them their, their own advice or their opinion, you know what I mean? Everyone gets criticism every single day. Obviously, some people get criticism more than others. And sometimes people don't even get criticism. They just get slandered completely. And, I'm, and I get that. I completely get that, you know? So therefore, is it really fair for anyone to really come and say, you know... Let me, let me just repeat what you said there real quick. Hold on a minute. I kind of... <laughs> my mind's going to be blank. ...scenario because those are the people who made the choice to treat me like a human. And I value that so much. And I think that that deserves to be celebrated in internet culture because we don't do it enough. Uh, we are really good at talking about people like things. And I respect that they understood that I have a heart in here and that I can be a little sensitive. So... Oh, sorry, I must, I, must, I must have not gone back further enough. <laughs> um, and I think that's, that's I, I wanted, that's the only direct people I want to name in this entire scenario because those are the people who made the choice to treat me like a human and I value that so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, so I, 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 just, I just think, we, I just think we, we, we go a bit too far with this whole human thing. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter whether you're on a spotlight or not. Being a human is being criticized. That's how we improve. That's how we, that's how we get better. But again, obviously, I don't know in what kind of form she's talking about. I don't know if she's talking about the fact that there's people that's been out there that have made commentary on her videos and have slandered her. If they've slandered her, then 100% I understand it being a feelings. But if they're giving you constructive criticism, then there's no reason. I mean, obviously, you're still going to be sensitive, but you can't treat it as if you're the only person in the world that gets criticism. Everybody gets it, regardless of whether you're, you're an influence or not. 
So it really it's a part of being a human being, getting criticized. It's just a matter of how you take it. But end of the day, if you if you if you have the if you have the the, the the strength to put on a camera, it means realistically you're telling us that you have more strength than the person who can't put on their camera to actually take criticism because you're here to really but listen, when you when you put on a camera, criticism is gonna come. Point blank period. You have to be prepared for it. You know? If you're not gonna be prepared for it, don't put the camera on. So it, it, listen, I whatever let me right, let me so finish that, you, you, you get my point right in culture because we don't do it enough uh, we are really good at talking about people like things and i respect that they understood that i have a heart in here and that i can be a little sensitive everyone so, has a heart dearie that all as far as dearie. all the other reactions i want to let you know that i have not watched the videos i do not know what was directly said in any of them positive or negative i did watch the first obese to beast video on me she doesn't know then why is she making a video about it then i then made a decision that even though it was very popular let me know lovely, people uh, no let me know it. Uh, it wasn't good for me to hear it because it became somebody else's opinion on me and I needed to focus on my opinion on me. That's fair. And that is fair. That's what I want to talk about in this video is making decisions for yourself okay. and how communities can affect and alter our abilities to be aware of our own needs. That's fine. Let's this, go. This, Let's this go. Let's piss some people off. For sure. First and foremost, I always say that. I always say the things that are going to piss people off because, and they do. No, hit me. Let's right? go. Let's go. Yes. So my intuition is flawless, guys. It's going to piss some people off. But Listen, I, I just, need... just get into it because I'm, I'm interested in this because I've honestly that, listen, I'm very, what she's, I mean, I don't know what she's about to say, but based on the way she's talked about it, certain communities not doing it. Listen, I'm all for it, man, because trust me, I know how certain communities don't be treating each other properly, you know? Doesn't matter whether it's black community, do you know what I mean? A gay community, um, 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 fat phobia community, do you know what I mean? Like, I mean, plus, sorry, plus size community. Every community that, every community out in the world, okay? There's always something that's happening inside internally that's damaging other people. So listen, I'm all for it, man. Let me know what it is. Let's go, man. Let's see if we can, you know. To get this off my chest because I have been for years, and it has negatively impacted my mental health on multiple occasions. And I feel at this point, given everything that's gone on, it's time to just say it and move on. And whatever happens to me as a result, uh, I'm gonna put on my big girl panties and I'm gonna take it, and and that's okay. Okay, let's go. So the first thing that you need to know and you need to understand. And I think understand. As a observer, this See, this is the up. thing, though. You can't be saying that. I mean, yeah, I say you can't be. You can be, but the moment you say you need to understand is the point. Is the moment people are like, hold on a minute, okay, okay, let me put my shield on now. She's telling me that I gotta understand, or I haven't got an option. <laughs> we gotta be careful how we, how we address things, you know. And this is how criticism can be taken the wrong way or opinions. Big girl panties, and I'm gonna take it, and and that's okay. So the first thing that you need to know and you need to understand, uh -huh. and I think as a casual observer, this will not be obvious, but as someone who has lived. In this world, it is painfully clear. There is not really a body positive community. There are not a large group of people who agree on what body positivity is, who support each other in yeah. any actions. Okay. Fact, the majority of the conversations that happen in the body positive space are people fighting over what body positivity really is. And I have seen less encouragement and less support in that community than I have seen in other communities I am part of. In fact, that community, the body positive community, has actually been worse for my mental health than some of the other communities I'm in. And mm. we're going to talk about that and unpack that. First I like that. Okay. I'm liking where this is going. Okay. She's got, she's got, there, there's truth in this. A lot of truth in this. This is fantastic. Let's go. I probably should define what body positivity is to me. Again, it's a very debatable definition. So that is where all the trauma comes from. But we'll start with what I believe. I believe that every person, regardless of their size, shape, color, gender, sexual identification, abilities, whatever makes them different, has the right to exist peacefully in their body and free of discrimination. By the way, I know I said obviously there's black community, gay community. I know obviously gay community, some people like, well, not Muslim, but it's called the LBGTQ community. Yes. Don't take no offense. Obviously, that's what I meant. I don't know sometimes what, what I can say is going to be sensitive. Whether I, if I, whether I say gay community or LGBT, and then there's LGBTQ, there's LBGTQ+. Plus. Oh no, listen man, listen man, do you know what I mean? I let people do what they gotta do, that's the bottom line, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Just gotta, just gotta cover myself there, you know? Furthermore, to kind of extend that out, I believe that like everybody else's bodies and choices is their business. But to be fair, if you are someone here who's obviously, you know, um, um, you know, someone that is not straight, specifically, um, specifically, specifically, please, please let me know, correct me, like, what, what, what do you go by in your community? Where is it, gay community, LGBT, do you know what I mean? Let me know, like, you know what I'm saying? I'll do my best to remember because I have been told several times, but the letters just. Pfft. Sometimes I believe I'm dyslexic. So I won't lie. I really do believe in that. I'm not, but I believe it sometimes. But let's continue. Really not of my concern. And that my, well, I'm not diagnosed, anyway. my choices are really nobody else's concern, which has made this entire situation very interesting for me. I still believe all of that. Uh, making choices to become healthier were my choices. And I made those choices very aware of what would come as a result of them and very aware of the emotional challenges I would face. I knew that a lot of this would happen. I didn't think it would happen on this grand of a scale. I'm a little shocked that this is, this is a big deal as it is, but 
I knew something would happen. I knew it wouldn't be easy. I knew it wasn't gonna be all sunshine and rainbows. And that's why I waited a really long time to talk about it. I would still define myself as body positive against my definition of it. This becomes important yeah. because there are many other groups with many other definitions who feel that that um, gives them the right to become almost militant about enforcing those definitions and, and, and policing people. And I have never liked this and I've never been supportive of it. And I've spent many, many, many nights crying because I have felt unsupported and unincluded in a community that I felt that the media had put me as a figurehead of. And I don't know if I ever deserved to be a figurehead of this community because I don't know what is the most popular definition of this. And in fact, I feel like it just has become this weird term that we use to describe people who like themselves when society tells them that they should hate themselves. Like, I don't even know if there's any real moral root in body positivity. And you know what though? I mean, she's got, she's got a few little points here, you know, but just to kind of like go away from what she's saying a little bit, I'm going to kind of put my own spin on what I believe what body positivity should be or what it is you know what i mean and uh i think no 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 forget that forget that what i believe is something people should focus more on i don't really personally believe people should be focused on on a community you know um, i think when you focus on a whatever community it is that you're focusing on i feel like you are setting yourself up from hurt for, for hurt because when you are part of certain communities communities are very quick to, to turn their back on you okay they're very quick humans people are very quick to turn their back on you if they're not loyal people to you okay um so here's the thing in life you are better off doing something for you for you and when you do it you don't do it because you're seeking appraisal from other people or you're seeking necessarily support from other people do it for you and you alone do it because you have pushed yourself to get to that stage okay because the matter of the fact is once we start to get in a cycle where we are looking for appraisal too much we're looking for someone to support us too much. We're looking for the shoulder crying too much. What happens is that we are allowing ourselves to not become strong within ourselves. So therefore, you know, especially if we go and look for that shoulder, for that person, for that community to support us, and then they're not there, you're going to be like, oh no, what do I do now? Okay, that's why, you, that's why it's important to find yourself within the strength you're looking for, within the journey you're looking for. And then obviously there's certain times when you may be a part of a community. Now, if we talk about the body positive community stuff specifically, right, we keep it on topic. I obviously I hear these stories about you know preferably or I hope I'm going to get this wrong but when you're in the body positive uh, uh, um, um, community it's all about being a plus size person right and it's all about not having to necessarily worry about what you put in your body from what I understand depending on who we're talking about within the body body positivity plus size kind of community so therefore obviously it is sad that if you're someone who is plus size someone that is potentially even obese okay and obviously that's not in a healthy position realistically right it is sad that when you're in it. At the beginning, it's all fun and games because everybody's like, yay, listen, we're all big together. Yo, hey, guys, we all love food together. We're all this, this, and that. But then the moment, you know, the doctor rings you and says to you, hey, so um, Susie, um, Dylan, um, Carl, I'm just making up names on the spot here. Trevor, let's go with Trevor, yeah. Uh, yeah, Trevor, so um, we've just checked, checked your BMI and, you know, it's a bit higher than it needs to be. We just, uh, uh, we just diagnosed you with diabetes, uh, you know, and you might have surgery for this. You we think you're, you're you're prone to this, so um to be honest with you, the best thing for you to do is to um start to eat better, exercise a bit a little bit a little bit please, and uh, you know kind of cut the weight a little bit because otherwise if you don't you're gonna end up potentially going to early grave right. These things can happen to people right from doctors all right. At that moment in time, that person Trevor now or Susie, who knows you know what I'm saying? They they they're gonna be like, Eesh, damn. I mean I love this community man. I love just being free. I love being able to just to be the size I want to be, eat what I want to eat, do what I want to do, and not care about people judging me. Because you know what? I mean, I'm part of a community that supports me in being positive. But then the moment you go to that community, you say to them, oh, yeah, I need to start losing weight now. Kabam! Kaboom! All of a sudden, they're turning their, they're turning their back on you. Then you're like, I don't understand. You guys were here for me this whole time, though. I mean, when I was, when I was just being free with myself, doing what I wanted to do, just like you, you're always, here, you're always here for me. But now, now I've been told I have to lose weight because of my health. You're turning your back on me. In fact, you're telling me that I'm turning my back on you. But if I was turning my back on you, then why am I here telling you these things and opening up so we can support one another? But you, but you don't want to support me. You want to kick me out and say that I'm the tra traitor. Oh, damn. And then that moment in, in that moment itself, in that moment, in that moment itself in particular, is the moment that person who had been doing things based on exterior uh, 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 motivation, exterior uh, support, they don't have that no more. So what happens? 
many things can happen from that point from that one moment in time that person can either pick themselves up and say you know what i've got to do things for myself now i can't rely on no one else or they can go on the other other route where they could be like oh what's the point of me doing it then what's the point of me doing this if no one's going to be here to support me if no one's going to be to praise me i don't understand my mental health is not going downhill my anxiety is kicked up my depression is coming in i don't know what i want to do with myself and this is the problem you know i say and this this and I, i'm not going to blame these things necessarily on communities because communities are communities the policy is always going to be there. I, I, that's why I do what I can to stay from politics, stay away from groups, all that kind of stuff. That's why I say to myself, and I've always said to myself, and I always say this to people that I know, when you do something in life, do it for you. Do it because you have motivated yourself. Do it because you have driven yourself to the position that you want to go to. You are the key to anything in life. No one else is the key. No one else. Just you and you alone. And at the end of the day, when you get to your journey, Obviously, there's going to be people around you who are going to reap the rewards of the being the amazing person you are. And those people that can reap the rewards could be people you then educate later on about whatever journey you was able to go through and succeed in. People will reap it in, any, in many, many different ways, okay? And that's the bottom line. We shouldn't be looking necessarily to be looking to join communities or to be a part of community, you know? End of the day, how can we be a part of a community if we haven't even found ourselves yet? Because here's the thing, you know, sometimes when you're, you're, when you're a part of a community, you then technically become a sheep. Nobody should be a sheep. Everybody should be a lion. Everybody should be a leader in their own freaking right. Okay? Everyone should be. But obviously, that's not the world we live in. But end of the day, I'm just saying, I kind of forgot what she said to me. But um, end of the day, I, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember now. I remember now. All I'm saying is this, yeah? Don't rely on X, Y, Z. Don't rely on outside sources. Rely on yourself and anything and everything. The only time you should rely on someone else is the person that you fall in love with. That is the only person realistically, because that is your right or freaking die person. And also, if you have children, that person, you, 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 you obviously uh, um, grow them to understand the value of X, Y, Z, and then they can be there for you as well. That's when it really matters. So when I say family, I'm not talking about family members, like brothers and sisters, mothers. and No, the woman or the man you end up being with. Okay. That's the person really and truly should be your only go to. The only person and the children that you have together. Whether it's children that you have together because you've given birth or children maybe you've adopted because obviously in some relationships, some relationships might be trans relationships. You know what I'm saying, okay? Either way, whatever the relationship is, that person you're with, the person, you know what I'm saying? Let's continue. Anymore. Because like everybody's body positive that doesn't hate their body. Like that's, it's very confusing. Within this community lives um, a group of people that... <laughs> I'm going to just say it. I call fat with a capital F. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. Why does she do that? Just speak your chest, man. Like, what's <laughs> Speak your chest. Come on, this is your platform. This is your channel. Do what you got to do, man. Let's go, girl. Again, there's nothing wrong with this. But they are very protective of anything that would indicate or suggest that being fat was, was wrong. What are you going to do for yourself? I get why. If it's a huge part of your identity and you believe that it's part of your identity, um, it can be hard when people make the choice to abandon that identity or abandon that lifestyle. Ain't no one um, abandoned anything. This is something called improvement, evolving, doing better for yourself. Okay, enough. Listen, why are we, why, why? What's this abandon? No, 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 no. Don't be saying that. Please, please, please. But you know, I've already said my, 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 my speech. So let me not. I, yeah, let me just listen, man. <laughs> but I'm saying, I'm, I'm not putting this on her. I'm saying this is the mentality that people can grow sometimes, that I'm, they're abandoning this. Why is that coming out of your mouth? Like, it's not her fault, but what I'm saying is, it's what has happened within, whatever's happening within her life at this moment in time. You see what I'm saying? Uh, it can feel like a personal attack. And, and what has happened is any plus size person who's ever lost weight in this space has been viciously attacked by this community. Mm, mm. And it's been hard to watch. I've seen it happen to other people. So before it even happened to me, I knew it was going to happen and I had have seen it happen. And honestly, the people that they attacked previously were like way cooler and way more influential than me. So why did you stay a part of it? If you've seen it, you, you, you've seen it, right? So therefore you've been given a go ahead to prepare yourself. And that goes for everybody else. If you've seen it, you're, you've been given the go ahead to prepare yourself. You've been given the go ahead to move to to even remove yourself from the scene. So you don't have to go through that. You know, that's the moment you say, you know what, I've got to focus on myself. I've got to do this by myself. I can't be having these people around me. So I figured I wouldn't get it as bad, but I can't just the beginning. Be having I know me saying me. this and coming out and like giving you the real tea on the community is going to like mean that they're going to really come for me. And that's okay. Like I said, I'm prepared to take it. And honestly, in my I heart, hope so. I find that rather endearing that, that someone has found such peace and love with their body that they want to fight for the right for it to be valued. And I get that with someone like me losing weight, 
threatens that that piece that they found and I, like i understand that's the it. thing doesn't it it doesn't threaten it at all man that's the problem isn't it when you talk about body positivity why does it always have to relate to someone that's plus size body positivity should be for anyone and everyone at any size okay and body positivity should be about someone being free to be able to lose weight and to gain weight gain muscle lose a little bit of muscle tone their body you know i don't know where there's a guideline that says body positive should just be people who are plus size you know what i mean that's the saddest part of it i, I listen I, I i feel sorry for her in, in this in this situation in this kind of circumstance you know what i mean but at the same time though she's allowed to continue laying in that bed it doesn't make it okay, but well, I back in where the anyway. anger and the frustration comes from. Not about now. And it can even feel like a betrayal, right? I get it. It doesn't make it okay. It doesn't. On top of this, um, there's been another layer of the body positive community, which is people who are actually not plus size at all. They're like kind of like middleweight, like average people who talk about body positivity in this lens of like, love your body as long as you're healthy. And that like key last phrase, as long as you're healthy is very damning to be, to be, to be perfectly honest. It basically gives them the right to talk shit about anyone who isn't average or thin. <laughs> come on dearie 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 don't do this calm yourself down girl listen when somebody says do the da 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 as long as you're healthy right they're just looking out for you they're looking after themselves if anything you know what i mean okay and to be honest if you understand something when someone says that they're realistically being polite because nobody's the, the, listen there are people in the world who don't want to say to you, you know oh listen you know, like, I feel like you, you, you don't eat enough healthy stuff. They don't want to say that. Some people say that, oh, I've noticed that you put on quite a couple of pounds. That's why I saw you, you know? Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you that you want to be in this size, but make sure you're having something healthy, right? Some people want to take that in a negative tone, but instead of them eat, Listen, sometimes it could be in a negative tone, but I can say this for myself. If I'm saying something like that, it's not in a negative tone. It's just me saying to you, like, politely, I've noticed that you've kind of gone a bit too far with yourself in terms of your health. So, you know, if you kind of like dumb down the fast food or whatever it is you're doing and kind of put in more of the health, that's fine. And remember, in that conversation, weight hasn't even been mentioned. It's all about the health. People need to understand something. When the word health is used, it doesn't always automatically mean it references to your weight. We need to understand that right now, okay? Because listen, I've had times before when people back, back what, five years ago, six years ago when I was eating meat, you know what I mean? I've had times before where, you know, people are like, yo, bro, I see you always get McDonald's before the gym, man. I'm like, yeah, man, so I get the energy in it. McDonald's is like, it gives me the juice. And they're like, I mean, I see the gains. I see the improvement, but be careful, though. You know what I mean? You don't want to go too, too far of it. I'm not someone that's plus at the moment, but someone is saying to just be careful with your health. And you know what? Listen, there's a guy called C.T. Fletcher. C.T. Fletcher is a legend, okay? One of the best motivational speakers. One of the best motivational speakers, speakers in the world right now in YouTube, right? If you don't know who he is, go YouTube me. C.T. Fletcher. C.T. Fletcher is a guy that when he was back in his... In his younger days, uh, 20s, he was someone that was a, uh, a power lifter at the time. And he used to, this is what he used to do. He used to go to the gym, lift up as, as much heavy weights as possible. But after the gym, he would go to McDonald's and he would buy multiple, multiple burgers. Multiple burgers because he wanted to put the weight on. Because the more you weigh, the predominantly the more you can lift per se. Especially if you're, in a, if you're in the weightlifting world. If you've seen people weightlifting, you've seen that they are big people. They're not small people, right? And they obviously have to eat a lot of food. You know what I mean? Okay, so... um. At the end of the day, I'm just saying, C.D. Fletcher got to a point in his life where he was like, do you know what? Even though I'm strong, even though my body's looking um, big but muscularly, I've I got to fix my health though. In fact, C.D. Fletcher, many years later on, what did he do? He had to have a flipping, um, I, I forgot if it was a heart transplant or it was a kidney transplant. He had to have one of those things. Because where he damaged his body so much back then, it, it caught up with him years on. And obviously, before he caught up with him, he did, he did, he did then obviously get rid of the, 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 the burgers. And then he obviously toned down, you know, got himself ripped. Still a big, big dude, but he got himself in a healthy place. You know what I mean? Okay. So therefore, what I'm just saying to you, when someone uses the word healthy, it doesn't always necessarily mean your weight. It doesn't always mean that. Okay. If, to be, listen, when I say it, nine times out of ten, nine point nine, it doesn't mean that. I'm just saying, be careful. But anyway, listen, we are a product to our environment. And I understand. I'm not saying she's wrong in what she's saying. We are a product of an environment. And in the environment that we're in, yes, 100% people are going to make you believe or, you know, society is going to make you or lead you to believe that maybe the only time you want to do this, you know, the only, the only time you want to eat or whatever. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. They'll make you believe that when the word health is used, it may mean, oh, someone's indirectly trying to say to you that you're basically obese or you're fat or you're unhealthy. Yes, I mean, you're, you're, yeah, of course you're unhealthy. I get that. But let's remove that out of our system. It doesn't always mean that. 
But at the but same I get time, it. maintain that they are a positive person who loves their body. So Boy, this is going to be a long video today, confusing. man. It's also very confusing yeah. as well. Like, how do you preach self-compassion and love and all of these things in the guise of your definition of body positivity, but then use the same thing to come out and say really terrible things about people um, because they are different than you? There's also a third layer to the body positive community, which is um, really driven by people with eating disorders who have had a really challenging relationship with food and they need to come to terms with it. And for them, body positivity is really this acceptance of, of their body and their shape and um, the choices they make or maybe even villainized in the past being things that actually support and nourish the body they have. So in this community, there's a lot of discussion about um, permission to eat, permission to consume, permission to enjoy um, basic things. So this community, I also don't relate very much to because I don't personally believe I've ever had an eating disorder. Talk to people who intimately know me, they'll tell you things about me that have actually been true since college. I'm a very focused person and I'll forget about things like food. Like I just won't remember to eat. I'll also like sometimes won't sleep because I'll get so like committed to the project. And what would happen is, is I would often eat very large meals at the end of the day that were very caloric that were also delivered to me by a food delivery service. So I would kind of just screw up my metabolism in a lot of different ways. And I mm. ate a lot of really unhealthy, junky food because by that point, that's what I wanted to eat because like my body was like starving. So one of the biggest changes I've made in this journey is literally just eating three times a day. It's not even restricting. It's just like getting my body on a schedule. Anyway. That's fair. So I have a this eating disorder community, which owns a huge part of the narrative around food in relation to body positivity. So I personally um, didn't benefit from content that encouraged me to consume freely. That content, if anything, was encouraging me to make less positive decisions for my body. At the same time, I understand why this community creates and, and, and needs this content. It's just not good content for me. So we got this first layer that is your fat activist. We've got your second layer that is your thin, uh, individual, well, thin to advertise individuals who think that you could love your body as long as it's healthy. Then you've got the layer of uh, eating disorder recovery. And then you have this fourth layer, which is this hypersexualization of the plus size body under the guise of body positivity. And this one has been very challenging for me because I am not, I'm like virtually asexual. Like, I don't know what I am. I don't know if I need a moniker for it, but like, I have no desire to be sexually attracted to someone else. And I don't usually get regularly sexually attracted to other people. So for me, sexual content makes me uncomfortable because I just don't relate to it that much. And there is this constant current of like sexualization of the plus body under the guise of body positivity. I, once I accept myself, I will feel comfortable showing myself naked or nearly naked. Now, don't get me wrong. Oh. I think a woman has the I was a bit lost for a minute there. I was like, how do we get into the sexual side of, side of things, you know? Okay, 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 let's go. I was like, whoa, what's going on here today, man? But let's continue. Get their freak on in any way possible. Just because it's not my cup of tea does not mean that a woman should not go and love and enjoy her body in a sexual way. Get it, girl. Don't care. I do struggle with it being promoted as a form of body positivity. There's a fifth layer on top of all of this. I'm like with her. No, I'm, I'm with her. Okay, I got it. Okay, 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 okay. I think I'm with her. I think I'm with her. But okay. If you've got any comments about this area itself, let me know, please. Just people who literally didn't care about body positivity until it became trendy. And then they started caring about it in the guise of like, wear whatever you want, whatever size you are, as more of like a marketing like terminology. And mm. I don't relate to that community as well because I love fashion. But like, to me, that's a totally different world. So all of these definitions exist and none of them define me. I mean, I'm just floating around like in a pool of ether around everybody else's opinions. <laughs> like you got some cocktails? Like where's the category of women that just like don't hate themselves and wish people would stop giving them opinions about their body? Cause that's my category. So these are the five kind of groups that drive the majority of conversation about body positivity on the internet. And the fact that they disagree about so many things it really feels like to me that each of these groups should have their own narratives, should have their own monikers, and that body positivity is not a fair thing to describe any of their viewpoints. In fact, you could argue that they are body positive, but their agendas are not unrelated. Mm, so at the end of the day, mm, I just mm, mm. didn't fit in. So okay. it didn't matter to this community. And that was weird and uncomfortable and made me feel very alone and very sad for many, many days because I tried so hard to fit in but I always felt like I was faking, like I was being someone I didn't like in order to get a group of people who didn't want to see me succeed to like me. It took a couple of years of like therapy and self-work to be okay with the fact that this community didn't want me because I refused to like saddle up to one of these ideologies. And listen, you know what? Listen, 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 listen. You know, it shouldn't even be about the fact that this community didn't want you. Forget that. Forget that. You know, nobody should be, listen, end of the day, it shouldn't even be about whether the community wants you or not. You know what I mean? end of the day it comes down to what you want okay it's not about what they want whether they want you want is, is, is irrelevant it's about what you want okay everyone okay that's what that's the main thing here you know it's weird because it's, now, crazy, it's crazy though. i'm surprised that she's not you know this, this sexual thing i don't know like, i don't know if i miss if i misunderstood the whole sexual situation that she's talking about but like i've seen some of her like not have not watched her videos but i've seen some of her thumbnails and she, this woman's always wearing like you know 
Like, you know what I mean? She's always flexing the legs, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, always showing everything and what door. I'm thinking, okay, <laughs> you know? So her design is, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit lost. I'm a bit lost. I don't know what I misunderstood about that area there, but uh, I'm just saying, even after this video, like, you know, there's, there's, there's things where you see in the thumbnails. You know what? We'll, we'll check out the thumbnails after this. Let's just finish the video. And then, yeah, I can give you a visual of what I'm talking about. perspective that you can be body positive and you can live in a way that is body positive. But the body positive community won't necessarily have your back just because you are body positive. It does not guarantee that other people who are also body positive will support you. And honestly, have your own back. I step back and say that to myself right now, it makes a lot of sense because having the same ideology about something doesn't mean you're going to agree about every other part of the world. So mm. um, I just had a mini breakthrough right here on camera. I guess, I guess that's what it all boils down to. Body positivity is just like one thing about you. So I think when it comes down to it, I just didn't relate to the other parts of these communities and, and felt alone. Wow. Vlogging is therapeutic. <laughs> it really is. No, it is. It is. She's not so lying. It is. We found ourselves together. I am not bringing up with a community that, frankly, I don't think even exists. And if it does, I was never actually a part of. I'm just, again, making the best choices for my health and people are reacting and... They're going to do however they are. So I'm not going to I'm curious. So what's her journey now then? What, what has, if you know what her journey has been since this video, let me know, please. Actually, people's videos. I'm not even going to watch them. And I'm going to I'm going to break my neck one day if I keep doing this. <laughs> that because yeah. at the end of the day, like I said, all the way back at the beginning, this is about me. What matters right now is my opinion of myself and whether I think I'm making the right choices. And right now I'm confident I am. And I'll be honest with you if that Good. changes, just like I was honest with you right now, because I'm not afraid anymore. And I don't honestly care with people who've never had a real conversation with me think about me i'm gonna be true about my world and all that other drama i mean feel free to enjoy I, i'm with it i mean listen should you really care too much about people having a comment about you that haven't you know haven't had a real conversation with you i mean here's the thing it's a hit or miss situation because realistically when you're doing it on a platform you kind of have to care a little bit because when people watch your content and they comment they comment because they want to give you feedback on what you said and the feedback doesn't necessarily mean it's feedback towards you the feedback could be literally they want to tell you a story that they've been through you know and they want to see if the story that you've been that they've been through how you view it you know what's your opinion on what they've been through and also on top of that when people make comments they don't only make comments to communicate with the youtuber specifically specifically neither they also make it because they want to see if they can connect with other YouTube, with other commenters, other viewers, other subscribers that are also watching the video. And that's the thing. That's the whole idea behind a comment section. That's why I think it's ridiculous when comment sections get get get, get disabled. What don't, don't actually know that's the like there are some videos that upload that you're like yeah yeah let's, let's just keep it hush. <laughs> but obviously, generally, you know, especially in something like this, you want. I'm, I'm listen. There's nothing to do with her in a comment section. Don't get it wrong. But I'm saying that. Um, 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 I don't think it's fair for any influencer to come on YouTube or social media and then say that, you know, people can't have a comment about me if they haven't really spoken to me personally, because you can't tell me you're going to reply to every, to every, what, 259 gay subscribers that message you, do you know what I mean? You know, it's not going to work like that. So yeah, you know, you have to, you, you listen, you haven't got a choice, but, but, but to take it. That's the bottom line, you know? And it's the same thing with people like myself who do commentary. You have no choice, but to take it. It's either you, it's either you read it or you don't. You watch it or you don't. That's it. You keep it moving, but you just don't take it personally. You just keep it moving. But most importantly, if you've got people out there that you're influencing and they generally give you stories online, I mean, like on, on your comment section, that matters. You know what I mean? And if you feel like they've got you wrong, reply to them. You don't, you don't have to reply to everyone. You know, you could read all the comments and then after that, do an, you do your own pin comment say, okay, so I made a video today. This is what I said. I read everything that you guys said. And you know what? This is the summary of da 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 of things that you maybe didn't understand. Obviously, people don't have to do this. YouTubers don't have to do that at all. But what I'm saying is if you're someone, you're one of these YouTubers, these influencers that come out and then tries to kind of say, ah, you can't say this, da 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 You know what I mean? And, and, and at the same time, you know, if you do watch a video of, of, of a commentary person that's making an opinion and you... Do disagree to a certain degree. Maybe you don't have to, but even one, you can even reach out to them yourself and say, listen, I watched that video and this is what I kind of felt. Or you can even comment on, on, on their reaction and be like, okay, I've, I've watched your video. And to be honest with you, I feel like maybe you missed that this, or maybe, yes, I understand you did this. So at least then, therefore, if you're then at least going out of your way to make communication with those people who are making the videos about you that maybe you don't agree with specifically, specifically, feedback in their comment section but this is the thing though when it comes to youtube everyone's afraid of giving one everyone has this thing about oh if i give a comment if i make a video about this person or if i leave a comment oh i might just give them clout listen it's not about the clout i mean listen 
No, it's always about the clout. But what I'm trying to say, it's not about the clout in that way. If it's about a way of you, you're trying to protect your AR self and the image that you're trying to bring forward or what you're trying to say, and you feel like it's being mis and you feel like it's being misrepresented by other commentary people, then reach out to them or comment in the video. And then hopefully from that moment on that moment on onwards, you can build a relationship of some kind with that person so they can understand a bit more why you do certain things. But until then, Whatever a commentary person has to say, then they, they're gonna say it until otherwise. Just like everybody else in the comment section. But hey, let's keep going. Like if it's interesting, watch it. I don't know what else to say. I think I said it all. I might have to record some more later to fill in the gaps. Fill in the gaps. Oh, gosh. If you made it through watching this whole video and you don't hate me, then I think we're in this for the long haul because I've been wanting to say this for so long and I say it to my friends all the time. Like, all the time. Such bull. It doesn't even exist. And now I said it to you. And now you know the truth, at least from my perspective. So I hope you enjoyed this truth bomb. I hope you have no, fantastic, fantastic. Listen, let me quickly let me quickly hop over to our channel real quick, okay? Obviously, I've said what I've said everything that I that I believe I wanted to say. Um, but I'm gonna go back to what I said. I said I'm gonna hop onto our channel real quick, okay? And um let's just because I want it's just that sexual part that you spoke about it was quite interesting because uh this was three months ago. Okay, cool. Because this is the thing, she talks about the sexual thing, she talks about the product of you know, um being so but the thing is look look at her most recent upload though. Mama Marmalade. I mean, Lady Marmalade. You know what I'm saying? She dresses all of them from Moulin Rouge, the song. You know, like, she's flexing her bit tonight. You know what I'm saying? Listen, she's obviously saying, she's saying, hey, I, I don't know if she's straight or not, but she's obviously saying, hey, ladies, hey, guys, like, look at these legs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come and get some, you know? <laughs> you, uh, you, you know you want some of this. <laughs> and she goes, she goes, that thick, thick. Oh, yeah, that back, back. <laughs> Calm yourself down. <laughs> um, but listen, uh, you know, I, I just think sometimes though, when people do make certain videos, um, I, 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 especially like that, you know, they, uh, I, I feel like it's important that then, then they do what they can after that. Plus whole long lounge wear. Okay, cool. I do believe that after that, you know, it's important that they do their best. You know, there's more of it here. So I don't know why she kind of spoke about that because it's clearly someone that does in a way sexualize herself because let's be honest on youtube there are so many uh uh vote not vultures but there's so many people on there that would definitely watch a lady just for skin but i'll say less on that one so to be fair i think she kind of shot herself in the foot in that one unless i misunderstood that but either way the, the thing that she said in the video wasn't necessarily incorrect you know what i mean i don't have much against what she said it's just that like i always say you know there's people who say things but then they don't live by what they say and that's just where the missing gap is for myself in particular. You know, she says these things, but are you living by what you say? Because she does, she does reference, reference a lot about, you know, her soul potentially, you know, sorting out her own way, her scheduling herself to eat three times a week. I mean, I'm sorry, three times a day and all that kind of stuff. And this is the problem sometimes when we watch some of these YouTubers, some of these influencers, we want to see them deliver what they're saying within the actions but when the actions are not there within what they're saying that's where we start to become like oh, i just don't know and you know what someone said to me in the, in the video that i made before about her the first video i made about her I said yo Madsy, man i feel like you give different energy like i saw you make the video i literally saw you watch i literally saw you make the video about the the woman heidi um heidi something okay she made i made a video about heidi something and in her video, she talks about how she's anorexia and bulimia, okay? And now obviously now, now she's in a successful place. She's now obviously, she's overcome it, you know? And someone said, oh, I feel like you're not giving the same energy. But the thing is though, how can I give an energy to someone who is, how can I, gi how can I give someone who's been successful in the journey of whatever they've been through, the same energy to someone who's saying certain things, but they haven't actually been, they haven't even succeeded in them, you know? If someone hasn't succeeded in that journey that they're specifically talking about, the thing that they've given us, I have to, I have to, I have to comment on, I have to comment on them the way they, the way, the way, the way they are presenting themselves to us. And they're presenting themselves to us as someone that just knows how to talk the talk, but doesn't really have, but hasn't really been able to show us the results of what they're talking about. Listen, I'm going to speak, I'm going to say as it is. But of course, if I've got someone else on the other side here who just happens to be someone that did go through X, Y, Z, and then they were able to then obviously be successful about it, of course I'm going to give them a different type of energy because they were able to get to that goal, you know? And that's the way life is, you know? But at the same time, you know, um, you know, we're always going to see things differently. We're not always going to agree on everything, which is fine. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about everything that she had to say. Also, on top of that, a lot of things I had to say is I know I said a lot. <laughs> but with that being said, a big massive shout out to every single person out there that is a uh, member of the channel so far as we continue to grow. And big shout out to every single person that is a subscriber as well. You are all loved just as much. And I shall see you lovely, beautiful human beings real soon. And the donut merch is coming out tonight. Peace.